Happy Independence to you all, my subscribers, both old and new subscribers. Happy Independence to you all. The President, President Tinobu, has addressed the nation this morning to celebrate Democracy Day. By the way, Democracy Day is, said, is, a mem is celebrated in memory of M.K. Abiola, whose mandate was taken away from him and other heroes that fought for the democracy of Nigeria. President Tinubu has addressed the nation. He has also, you know, pleaded with Nigerians to, to, to bear with him on the subsidy remover, promising to reward them soon. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Lastly, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Just in, what I will give you for removing fuel subsidy, Tinobu tells Nigerians. President Bula met Tinobu on Monday, sympathize with Nigerians over the pains of the recent removal of subsidy on premium motor spirits, otherwise known as petrol. In his 2023 Democracy Day speech on June 12, President Tinubu said his decision to remove fuel subsidy during his inauguration on May 29, 2023, is to save Nigeria from going under and take the country's resources away from the strong from the stronghold of a few unpatriotic elements president Tinubu asked nigerians to sacrifice a little more for the survival of the country democracy day is celebrated yearly on june 12 in honor of a winner of the june 12 1993 presidential election the late chief moshud kash Kashimawo, Olawali, MKO, Abiola, and other heroes of democracy. Addressing Nigerians on Monday, President Tinubu said, and I quote, A democracy that will yield right dividends to the people who are the shareholders means more than just freedom of choice and right to get people into elective offices. It means social and economic justice for our people. To the winner of June 12, democracy offers the best chance to fight and eliminate poverty. 30 years ago, he, M.K. Wabiola, christened his campaign manifesto, Farewell to Poverty, because he was convinced that there is nothing divine about poverty. It is a man-made problem that can be eliminated with clearly taught out social and economic policies. It is for this reason that in my inauguration address on May 29, I gave effect to the decision taken by my predecessor in office to remove a few subsidy albatross and free up for collective use the much needed resources which had hitherto been pocketed by a few rich people. Painfully, I have asked you, my compatriots, to sacrifice a little more for the survival of our country. For your trust and belief in us, I assure you that your sacrifice shall not be in vain. The government I lead will repay you through massive investments in transportation, infrastructure, education, regular power supply, health care and other public utilities that would improve the quality of lives. President Tinubu during his inaugural speech on May 29 at the Eagle Square in Abuja had announced the removal of subsidy payments on petrol. Tinubu disclosed that the immediate past administration led by Muhammad Buhari did not make provision for subsidy in the 2023 budget beyond June. Many Nigerians had expected that the new price regime 
would come into effect by July 1st, but almost immediately after Tenobu's pronouncement, queues resurfaced at Filin Station across Nigeria, even as retail outlets awed the product and increased prices. Already, a litre of petrol is being sold at over 500 across the country, following the price adjustment by the Nigerian National Petrol Company, NNPC Limited, and the presidential pro pronouncement of subsidy removal. Few queues have since surged for the vital commodity, compounding the traffic situation in parts of Nigeria, even as transportation costs skyrocket to more than 100% increment. The organized labor had resolved to embark on a nationwide strike beginning Wednesday, but was restrained by a court order of Monday, June 5, 2023. The organized labor subsequently shelved its planned strike after a meeting with the federal government last week. Recently, President Tinubu disclosed the details of his meeting with traditional rulers on Friday. According to Abiodun Ola Dunjoye, Director of Information to the President, Tinubu, while speaking at an interactive section with the Royal Fathers under the aegis of the National Council of Traditional Rulers of Nigeria, NCTRN, informed them of the decision of his government to remove fuel subsidy, improve security, create jobs and sustain the environment, as well as the forthcoming election of principal officers of the 10th National Assembly. We are all ears. We are ready to listen at any given time. I promise you an open door policy. That is how I will go. That open door policy is for you to call me and send me any concerns you might have at any time. We may not have it right 100% of the time, but we must get it right 90% of the time for this country, Tinubu said. Responding to issues raised by the traditional rulers on challenges facing Nigeria, Tinubu assured them, saying, Worry not, because the country is in good hands. You all, what do you think about this? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.